Hi guys, welcome to Nothing Geek TV. Today I got Asus Zenfone 2 with me. Uh, update has arrived for this phone. That's a system update, not a Android update. And uh, I'll be updating the phone uh, before I proceed with the further review. A new system update is provided to improve stability. Uh, auto download uh, over Wi Fi. Yes. So let it upload and then I'll continue. So guys I have upgraded the phone uh, so let me check the anti-2 score now let me run the anti-2 benchmark while it is running I'll show you other things about this phone guys and by the way the video is getting rewarded via me for i which is a Xiaomi phone so uh, well coming back to Zen phone 2 I have Android lollipop uh, running on the phone and uh, I have Zen motion uh, in the settings uh, which touch to gesture I just uh, displayed that to you and uh, let me show you the amount of free RAM on the phone so as you can see uh, uses 1.1 GB of RAM uh, and free is 2.5 GB of RAM which is good enough guys I am running few apps on this phone and 2.5 GB free is a really solid deal as far as storage is concerned I am having the 32 GB variant with me uh, so as you can see available user space is 23.86 GB so in a new device you will get around 25 GB 24.5 GB free which is again a really solid thing uh, the phone supports OTG cable this I have shown in my earlier videos kindly hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on that videos and what I like in Azure's UI is that they provide a separate window which shows the apps which can be moved to SD which make things easy for the users as far as uh, build quality and uh, overall stuff is concerned uh, I like the phone the display is really nice the touch is good it's five and a half inch full HD display remarkable colors guys I will just love the display uh, the build it back is plastic uh, it appears to be a metallic but this is just the finish it is plastic uh, let me see we are still uh, running the entity benchmark uh, till it runs I'll uh, just show you the back information and uh, the battery on the phone so as you can see it is a flexible back which uh, kind of make it uh, break proof although it can break but the uh, flexible is also is always good enough. So the battery is sealed we cannot remove the battery and I have slot for micro SD card as well uh, two sim cards I can insert the th thing to note is that uh, one sim card can be a 2G can be a 3G or can be a 4G sim card but the other sim card has to be a 2G SIM card only so this is a bit of limitation if uh, you are looking at the 2 3G SIM cards that won't be possible on the phone or 2 4G SIM cards for that matter we still have NT2 it is uh, about to get completed so guys as far as battery is concerned it is really good and uh, the battery lasts around 1.25 days on moderate usage the phone does heat up a bit when put under charging so the charging also takes time since it is a big battery so it will take at least two and a half to three hours and it heats up during that course that is normal with all the phones it's a 40,288 uh, score with a uh, quad core intel processor 4 gb of ram this is a remarkable and uh, let me show you the multi-touch on the phone so it's a 10 point multi touch guys which is more than enough for most of your apps and games the phone supports most of uh, the sensors i'll show you the phone has support for nsc and it supports direction sensor gravitation sensor acceleration sensor light e compass proximity gyro linear acceleration and rotation vector good enough for most of the tasks so what does this benchmark mean for you as a user so as a regular user who play light to moderate games like subway surfer candy crush temple run or um, do multitasking open several apps in the chrome browser use gmail uh, run youtube or do multitasking open lots of emails and run facebook and other apps 
uh, this phone works fine you won't have any crashes or any lags everything will be super smooth uh, when it comes to heavy gaming i played uh, games like astral data bond modern combat 5 there were no frame drops or lags the entry to benchmark score shows that there is ample ram on the phone and you won't be having any trouble with heavy gaming as well so it's a great phone when it comes to performance Coming to the final aspect of the phone is the camera. So I'm having a 13 megapixel rear camera with the camera lens is not bulging uh, and I have a front facing 5 megapixel camera. I have a dual tone flash. Uh, let me show you some images which I clicked. Uh, so I have a 13 megapixel rear camera and a front facing 5 megapixel uh, camera. Let me show you some images which I clicked using uh, the camera. So guys, this is a night image. There was hardly any light. And as you can see, the image has come out pretty well. The detailing is nice. The colors have come out pretty well of this dock. And uh, this again, this image has come out good enough. Uh, let me show you the front facing camera image guys. Uh, as you can see, front facing camera, it's a 5 megapixel front facing camera. And I love this camera, the details, the colors and the natural uh, thing uh, about the image remains intact this is an outdoor image and this too has come out nicely however one uh, small backdrop of the camera rear camera is when the flash is open it spoils the images it gives a big yellow color to the image which kind of spoils the deal i'll just show you another image so this is uh, with flash this too is with flash so as you can see the camera lens i mean the camera uh, has rendered the final image with flash uh, with complete yellow light so both the cameras are good enough but uh, when uh, using flash i'm not happy with that the phone renders the image uh, really bad with a great amount of yellow change so there are a lot of customization options available on this phone. Our uh, phone is running Android Lollipop out of the box. The build quality is nice. The display is awesome. Performance is awesome. Uh, the only backdrop of the camera is that uh, the flash ruins the image. I hope this is a software problem and it gets uh, solved out in the next update. Uh, I'm happy with this uh, phone and if you're looking for a phone with a nice um, build, nice performance, nice battery and a really nice display and a big display for that matter you can always uh, opt for Zenfone 5 thanks for watching the video guys and if you like the video kindly hit the subscribe button over here and stay connected have a great day